Hello friends and welcome to another Battle Brothers Dev Blog review. This is Dev Blog number 127, The Retinue Part 1. Now for something completely different. <laughs> Formally announced as company feats, the Blazing Deserts DLC will introduce a new gameplay mechanic to Battle Brothers called The Retinue. Read all about it. Oh, so I see we're incorporating elements from the Legends mod. I approve. So, a big reason why suffering heavy losses late in a campaign is devastating and also why coming back from those losses is difficult is because most progress that you attain throughout a campaign is in the growing strength of your men, which is the very thing that you stand to lose in every battle. While you can and should save some crowns for hard times, all too often you'll have to start near the bottom again and hire fresh recruits all over. But what if you've had a drill sergeant that whips these recruits into shape more quickly? What if having that drill sergeant would be an advantage that you couldn't lose a game? In other words, permanent progress not erased by battles lost. Thank you, devs. Some of you will recall the concept of having non-combat followers, non-fighting specialists like blacksmiths, surgeons, or that drill sergeant mentioned above. Retinue of people that would support your company of fighting men outside of battle. It's an idea that we've been toying with since before Battle Brothers even went into early access. And it's what we're now introducing to the game. Ah, oh, praise, praise be over Hype Studios. Your retinue of non-combat followers can be found in a new screen accessible from the world map. Yeah, find the men, women and children that travel along with your company sitting around a homely campfire. There's five slots in total for you to fill and several times that many followers available to choose from. Each follower pulls their weight by granting you one or more beneficial effects for the world map. Let's take a closer look at the Drill Sergeant. The Drill Sergeant was a mercenary once, but an injury ended his uh, career prematurely. Now he drills discipline into your men and yells a lot to make sure that everyone learns from their mistakes. Makes your men gain 10% more experience, that is amazing. Makes men in reserve never lose mood from not taking part in battles, that's also amazing. So requirements, renown of at least 1800, that's not too difficult. And retired a brother with a permanent injury, that's very easy to get. An upfront cost of 5000. God, that's awesome. The drill sergeant makes your men gain more experience from combat and never lose mood when being stuck in reserve. By keeping discipline and enforcing a hard training regime. In order to hire a follower like him, you'll first have to unlock them. At the most basic level, Followers require you to have a certain level of renown, but many also require that conditions be met. For example, in order to unlock the Drill Sergeant, you'll first have to retire a brother with a permanent injury. That's not hard to achieve, but other requirements can be more involved, giving you goals to pursue. Each follower costs a certain amount of money to hire. You can replace a follower at any time with a different one for a cost. There'll be followers available to have an impact on various aspects of strategic gameplay that any mercenary company has to deal with, like the Drill Sergeant, but also a couple that further support more specialized playstyles. For example, if you're particularly interested in banditry, exploration, trade, or named item hunting, we've got you covered. Choosing the right set of followers for your company is another way to customize it to your playstyle and to make each company and playthrough feel more unique. In addition to your entourage of followers, You'll also find a donkey around the campfire, which you can upgrade first to a cart, then to a wagon, and then to an even bigger wagon. It's time to increase the capacity of your inventory. Indeed, you no longer have to wait until the right ambition comes along in order to unlock more slots for your stash. But you can, at any time, just buy more inventory slots for money here. Easy. Join us again next week when we take a closer look at some of the followers available for your retinue in part two of this dev blog. Oh, amazing. Wait, wrong sound drop. Yay! Oh man, this is so good. This is probably one of the best elements of the Legend mod that I'm so glad they've incorporated. But the Sergeant seems like one that's going to have to be like a pretty much a permanent fixture. But the other thing that jumps out at me that I'm really looking forward to is the Blacksmith. So I'm hoping the Blacksmith makes buying tools cheaper, makes repairing cheaper, does he even give a passive repair, and he maybe give uh, you know boosts to weapons to like you know sharpen them to make them stronger stuff like that Ooh, the blacksmith's gonna be amazing and then i wonder if wouldn't it be cool if to get a blacksmith you would have to hire let's say an apprentice and then have the apprentice reach a certain level and then retire him 
and that apprentice then becomes a full-on blacksmith. And then like a surgeon could be one of the, you know, intelligent classes, like a historian or... I don't know what an intelligent class would be, or something similar like that. Surgeon, awesome. That's going to passively increase wound recovery time. That's going to save you money on buying um, healing supplies. But I think the blacksmith is going to be, have the biggest economic in, you know, uh, influence. Unless, of course, and it seems likely that there might be something like a dedicated haggler or something to you know, give you a, a straight-up stat bonus uh, when it comes to negotiating for better prices. So good. So good! I can't wait. Okay, so blacksmith is pretty straightforward. I think the sergeant is pretty straightforward, as is the surgeon. I did mention that there would be a child. What would the child do? Maybe forage for food, like passive food income? Let me know what you guys think. Any other brainstorming or other possible camp followers and what they might do? This lady has a lot of food, so I imagine she would be a passive gatherer. Maybe like a Fletcher that makes arrows for you passively. If you want to do specific things here, it said. Banditry, maybe like a bandit consultant. Exploration, like a dedicated scout. Named item hunting, a grave robber who you can employ. So cool. God, I love this game. I love it so much. Well done, Overhype. I cannot wait. There are good things coming in the future, man. The DLC for Battle Brothers dropping. I still haven't even jumped into Legends mod yet, which I will at some point. And praise be, Mountain Blade Warband is coming out at the end of March. So between Mountain Blade Warband and the upgrade for Battle Brothers, there's a lot of content coming. Hope you guys are as hyped as I am. Stay tuned for more updates.